What's up, y'all? Happy mother flipping. I believe it's Tuesday today. Anyway, no, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Okay, so I just wanted to record this just in case it turned out good. So I have some ground turkey meat in there. I'm putting in some um, Worcestershire sauce. I put in a um, one of those onion, Lipton onion packets. I used to love that in hamburgers. My mom used to, my mom and dad used to make burgers like that when I was growing up. So, um, yeah, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of Tony Sasseries, and that is all I'm gonna use. And I wanna see what this patty turns out like. Change of plans. I use Raging Cajun, a little bit of Raging Cajun, and some cayenne. And we are in. I put a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil at the bottom of the pan. And y'all, this burger is huge. It's pretty big. All right, y'all, so this time I'm gonna crisscross my lettuce like that so it'll hold the burger better because i didn't i've never done that and i just thought of it so i think that this is going to work out all right y'all so i slathered some <laughs> miracle whip on there y'all know i like it saucy and some mustard on both of them oh i have my onions and my tomatoes cut up right up under here boom this is the cheese I'm using, Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda Sliced Cheese. I'm about to put it on my uh, bun, I mean my um, burger right now. All right, y'all, so I'm using two pieces. Hopefully it melts good, but I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this on low and just let it melt slowly on there. Now that burger looks amazing. So I had to put a plate over it so it could melt. <laughs> Cause there's no top for this pot, y'all. All right, y'all, so this is how much the cheese melted. Okay, I'm satisfied. We about to do this. Oh yeah, today I cooked, baby. We have some cucumber and pico de gallo. We have sweet potatoes. I have a lettuce wrap burger. This is a turkey um, meat lettuce wrap burger with smoked gouda cheese, mustard, mayo. We have uh, lettuce. I'm sorry, tomatoes and onions. And this is the top. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Y'all, I just wanted y'all to see how good this pot cleans, y'all. In any other pot, it would have been crusted at the bottom because we have been cooking fried chicken in this pot. But look at that. Like, all I gotta do is throw this in the uh, trash and put some soap in there and wipe it out, y'all. Like. What? Dang, all these are expensive, but I need to get some more. And this is amazing. And happy, what's today? I think it's Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday. All right, y'all, so I seasoned my short ribs. That's what we having today. I'm finally making them, y'all. Um, I'm seasoning my short ribs with uh, salt and pepper, both sides, and I'm going to sear them on all sides. Okay, you're gonna put some olive oil in the bottom of your pan and sear them. And while you're searing them, you're gonna cut up your veggies. All right, y'all, so the pan is getting hot. I'm gonna put some. And y'all, you can cook anything in these pots, anything. <laughs> Right, y'all so i put some olive oil in my pot okay that's what i'm using and i'm waiting for it to get hot i think it's hot right now so i'm going to lay ooh, my ribs in here And we're gonna sear them on all sides.
So while this is going, we're going to cut our vegetables. Flip them. That's what they look like. Now that's when you roll it. Two of these, okay. God, it's not so good. Oh my.
So we're gonna add flour. Flour. And some tomato paste. About a fourth of a cup of tomato paste, y'all. Alright y'all, so we're going to cook this for a few minutes and then we're going to add a cup and a half of red wine. Y'all, I'm just using some old red wine. <laughs> and so, I'm gonna pour that in there. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put the top on this. And get all those goodies off of your spoon. So we're going to add, before we cook this for 40 minutes, we're going to add our um, short ribs back in here. Just like so. And then we're going to cook it for 40 minutes. I'm just gonna throw all the juices, everything in there. Wow. Yeah, this is my first time cooking short ribs. Now, I know I've cooked regular ribs before, but short ribs, I have not. And these are gonna be called, these are braised short ribs, y'all. That's what this is called. Okay.
beautiful. 45 minutes, y'all. 40 to 45 minutes. Y'all, look at this. Oh my God. It looks amazing. Uh oh. Thank God this is a non stick freaking pan. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Alright, are y'all ready? We're about to add four cups of beef broth. And that is one whole um, 32 ounce box of this. So we're just gonna Add that in there. Y'all, I swear to God, in this lady's recipe, I did not see where she seasoned this at all. <laughs> but I'm gonna season mine. All right, you're gonna add all of that. Then, you're gonna add your aromatics, is what she calls it, which is thyme. I got some fresh thyme here. And as if I can freaking open it. I'm just gonna add all of it. Cause why not? <laughs> all the thyme. Then we have rosemary. We're gonna add all of this. Boom. And parsley. So, this is the parsley that I have. And this is what I'm gonna freaking add. I'm gonna add the whole thing. Um, gotta take all this off first. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna add the whole thing. Okay. And then we're gonna cook this y'all for four hours. Four freaking hours. Oh, it smells so good. But I am going to season mine right now. And I'm gonna season mine with some Raisin Cajun. people put their pots in the oven I am going to leave mine on top of the stove I'll put the top on there and I'm gonna cook it right here for four hours okay Oh, let me put some pepper. This is coarse black pepper. And I'm gonna let this, this simmer. Um, I'm gonna let it come up to like a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down to low and let it, you know, cook for the four hours. Now, if you wanna cook it in the oven, you're supposed to put it on 275 
for four hours okay that's a really really low temperature that's why i'm going to be cooking it on low on top of the uh stove okay all right y'all remember this butter that i made the garlic butter with the cilantro and the um it was roasted garlic in here um and i can oh and parmesan cheese anyway i'm about to put this because i froze it the rest that i had i'm about to put this on some asparagus and like saute it hopefully it's delicious i'm about to put it on this asparagus right here if i can get it out this bag on bag y'all i made some risotto it tastes so good um this is the asparagus and this my friends is the short ribs they're super duper tender uh oh can y'all see that they're super duper tender these are the herbs never mind those i put a um a cornstarch slurry in here to make the gravy thicker but yeah that's it what up y'all so the food is ready now guess who i'm waiting on murder show he literally was rushing me to get this meal made and ready y'all it's ready and he's not ready <sighs> yeah so let's wait on him Oh, we made, looky, looky. I cooked y'all. We have some beef short ribs on top of some Parmesan a risotto with some asparagus. Yummy, delicious. Does that not look amazing? Oh my God, who wants a yummy bite? This is what my food do to them. <laughs> ah, out like a light. Y'all, I'm making more mandarin juice. Freaking yum. Hopefully this is as good as the big mandarins because they didn't have the big ones. They only had the small the cuties from Sprouts. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can't find the, uh, what you call, but this does just fine dumping the, um, you know, peeling. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I added some pineapple also. So this is mandarin and pineapple juice. So I'm gonna try it. All right, are y'all ready? Here we go. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> 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 <laughs>